Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video. And it seems like it was only a matter of weeks since, of course, this little puppy, the P30 Pro from Huawei, was launched. But we're already talking about the brand new release of a new flagship in the form of the Mate 30 Pro. And as we know, the release in Munich is just around the corner. We're going to discuss exactly what we're due to expect. So without further ado, as things stand, this is it. Let's get straight to it. So first it will touch on design, then specs, and then we've got a very key bit of information that has just dropped. And I'm gonna want comment from you guys to see whether this will affect your interest in this device. Right, so we know that the Mate 30 range is going to be launched on the 19th of September. So it is just a matter of days away. It's gonna be in Germany. <coughs> Still can't shift this cold. Man flu. Fellas, am I right? So in terms of design, we've pretty much known for quite a while due to leaked images, renders, etc., that it's gonna look fairly similar to the Mate 20 Pro in the fact that we are going to have a notch, which is very surprising on a 2019 model, but there's a couple of key reasons why that notch is there. So if you can look past it, it might just bring you some pretty amazing features. If we flip to the reverse, we have the round camera array, different from the square that we saw with the Mate 20 Pro, which I might add pretty much started a big camera arrangement square design trend copied by Apple and Google. So will we see floods of 2020 phones with a circular camera design? A high possibility. Now in the past, Huawei have been famed for having really great cameras on their smartphones. It's one of the things they really, really focus on, not only with the Mate 20 Pro, but also with the P30 Pro here, we saw some pretty amazing things. And we're due to see a quad camera setup on the Mate 30 Pro, the primary 40 megapixel lens, a 40 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and we believe an eight megapixel telephoto lens, which will again really push the boundaries on optical zoom. The fourth sensor will be a time of flight, so good for depth, perception, portrait mode, etc. The big rumor on the technology that's gonna be housed in the notch on the front is three camera lenses and 3D facial recognition, very much more secure than 90% of the smartphones we currently see right now for their face ID. And even the P30 Pro, which just has the water drop notch and therefore can only house 2D facial recognition. This frees up Huawei to either completely rid the fingerprint sensor from the device or have the in-display one that again we've seen on previous Huawei devices. Now the main SoC that will be powering the Mate 30 Pro was finally announced at IFA and it will be the brand new Kirin 990. And amongst other things, this brand new SoC will add support for 4K at 60 frames a second, something that no other Huawei devices to date have been able to do. And I know that's not a new thing, but for Huawei lovers, this is quite a big deal. They can now record at 4K at 60. Also, it will allow even better MPU performance with two large cores and one new small core. And importantly, alongside that, the Kirin 990 will also be combined with the Balong 5000 modem, which again, in terms of battery consumption, works brilliantly for those of you who are going to be jumping between 3G, 4G, and potentially 5G, because of course, the Mate 30 Pro will be 5G ready, and it's able to consume less battery because the phone can connect to all of these different frequencies straight from this modem, whereas the likes of the Qualcomm alternative actually has to jump between a specially designed 5G section, jumping into another section that deals with 4G, 3G, etc. And obviously if you're jumping between different areas and different connections, it's gonna consume a lot of power on devices that are using this Qualcomm setup. Alongside that, we're due to see a 4,500 mAh battery capacity, larger than the Mate 20 Pro and the P30 Pro already. And there's also talk of a 55 watt fast charge. Now the 40 watts Huawei supercharge on the P30 Pro is already insane and the battery life is brilliant. This is gonna be even better. And we've seen Samsung take Huawei's 40 watts fast charge and say, hey, we're gonna do 45. 
well, it seems like Huawei are now going to go, well, we're going to do 55. Let the battle of the wattage commence. Of course, at this point in flagships, the amount of RAM and storage becomes pretty insane. Minimum of six gigabytes of RAM on the Mate 30 series. And if rumors are to be true, we're going to go right up to 12 gigabytes. And large storage options are going to be available as well due to the fact that it will be expandable using Huawei's nano memory card. It will have a 6.7 inch AMOLED display and like we saw with the OnePlus 7 Pro, it is going to have a 90 Hertz refresh rate. So it's gonna be lovely and fluid and immersive when you are indeed using your phone, not only scrolling through menus, but gaming, etc. Also, it doesn't look like we're gonna get volume buttons on the Mate 30 Pro either. They're gonna to be touch capacitive buttons like what we've seen on the squeeze technology with the likes of the Google Pixel 3, for example. It's gonna be the same for the volume buttons. Now, before we jump on to the huge, huge bit of news, colors. There's talk of black, red, gold, white, blue, chrome white, classic blue, and classic red. Let me know which of those colors sounds the most intriguing to you. Now let's get on to the huge news, but also a workaround. There is the whole US ban thing, which we're not gonna get into. I've done many videos on this already, but what's key is that it looks like the Mate 30 series will, for the first time in recent history anyway, be shipping without Google's Android. It will still be Android, but it will be AOSP, which is kind of like a non-Google version of Android. So no Google apps, no Gmail, no YouTube, for example, but like what we've seen on previous devices that say have a Chinese ROM and not a global ROM, there is a workaround to get those apps onto your device. And it's not really that difficult. It'll just take you a few minutes, some nice easy instructions. I've actually done it on this channel myself. And if you wanna see it as and when the Mate 30 series actually rolls out, then let me know in the comments and I will do that with the actual device so you can see it. But Huawei will allow you to install those Google apps and it'll be a third party install. So you'll have to go into your settings on your device and allow downloading apps from unknown sources. Of course, there are potential risks security wise because of this. And Huawei will have to be very transparent and really be on their security A game if indeed this is going to go through. It just won't come in the retail box like that. So this is my one question to you. Will this information make you not buy the phone? Not want, not even want to touch it with a barge pole? Or are you more than happy getting the phone, using all the other Android apps that will come with it and just downloading all your Google apps using a third party installation? Or are you somewhere kind of in between? You're still kind of interested in the devices, but you're a little bit skeptical about how this is all gonna play out. Let me know in the comments as always. I love to hear all of your thoughts and I will try and respond to as many comments and questions as I can. I will hopefully be getting my hands on the Mate 30 series very, very soon. And I will of course be doing an unboxing, a review, and of course comparisons to other popular flagships around right now. If you want to see those, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You've turned on the notification bell so that when I post those videos, you are notified. It's been absolutely lovely to have you on board again today. I'll love you and leave it. I'll see you in the next one. So let's build TP's out. Not really sure why I spun around then, but hey ho. See me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down.